Good morning, dogs. Happy Wednesday. After the pledge, bowling team info and more. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The answer for the trivia question yesterday was my all-time favorite, Anthony Hahn, even though he flunked radio TV. Son, haven't I always been there for you? Whether your girlfriend or your flunking TV or... We love you, Anthony. Hope to see you at the Blue Chips reunion. He played as Tony the Point Shaver. The winner for yesterday was Miss Palmer. Congrats. Attention student pass holders. Free t-shirts are in. Pick them up with Miss Palmer in the athletic office as soon as possible. You will want to wear these at the winter sporting events. Now I'll be sending it up to the guy that works for his mom, Doug Wood. Thank you, Ingrid. My Pacers got a massive win in Philly last night as Halliburton continues his unbelievable season. He needs to be the MVP, baby. The Lady Hot Dogs hosted North Montgomery at home Tuesday evening for a JV half and a varsity contest to open their conference season. In the JV half, the Hot Dogs battled while getting to the free throw line 10 times and even collecting five steals in the process from their defensive pressure. Even though the score did not go their way, the Lady Dogs are continuing to improve every day. The Hot Dogs were led in scoring by Jackie Tovar Quijosa with three. In the varsity contest, the Lady Hot Dogs competed from start to finish. In the middle of the first half, they saw themselves down 10, but managed to cut it to six right before halftime with a beautiful full court pass from Vanessa Guardardo to Evelyn Vasquez Bautista, who was able to make a great move and finish right at the basket as the halftime buzzer sounded. In the third quarter, the Hot Dogs outscored North Montgomery 11-3 to take the lead heading into the fourth quarter. The fourth quarter saw multiple lead changes throughout, the throughout with the differential in the game being no larger than three either way. Down two with five seconds left, the Hot Dogs were able to get a good look, but didn't go down for them. They were led in scoring by, Van with, by Vanessa Gordardo, who posted a career high with 15, and Evelyn Vasquez Bautista chipped in eight, which is also her career high. On the glass, Sarah Flores pulled down 12 rebounds, Evelyn Vasquez Bautista eight, and Vanessa Gordardo six. In the steals department, Vanessa Guardardo collected four, Evelyn Vasquez Bautista three, and with two steals apiece was Cyra Flores and Daisy Santos Valdez, and Ashley, uh, and Ashley Vasquez Rivera. Also, as a testament to their defensive effort, effort Aaron Wills, Vanessa Guardardo, Cyra Flores, and Daisy Santos Valdez all took a charge. It was a super fun game to call last night. Ladies, great job. The ladies' hot dogs will play again on Tuesday, November 28th, when they host Sheridan. Let's go hot dogs. Yesterday our press box at the football field that has been here at FHS since 1983 was sadly torn down due to the fire that we had on Halloween. Rest in peace press box. That's it for sports today. Now to Mr. Jazz for weather. Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. I'm feeling good right now as it was a nice clear day but good things always have something wrong going on. This morning, there is a special weather in the area with an enhanced fire danger this afternoon. There will be a combination of very dry atmosphere and a low fuel moisturizer with results in fire danger. Please consider burning on a different day, and if you're planning on doing any fires in general, please uh, be sure to extinguish the fire and dispose of flammable items. Well, enough, that's enough of fire. We already had a fire a few weeks ago here at our own schoolyard. But Dougie got that, so this afternoon we'll have a high of 65, and it will continue to be sunny all day. At night, we'll have a low of 38 with a clear night sky. Please start bundling up as it continues to become colder, and that should be it for weather. I hope you guys have a really good day. And now to Ella with birthdays and lunch. Thanks, Anthony. For today's lunch, we will be having hot dogs in lines 1 and 2, and for lines 3, it will be salad bar, and for lines 4, we're having assorted pizza and chicken. On Sunday, the FHS bowling team traveled to Lebanon to face first place Southmont. Unfortunately, we came home with the, with the loss. Notable scores are above, above average. Maggie Roberts, 138 to 133. Corbin Lake, 145. Lily Cooper, 145 to 143. Happy birthday goes out to Morgan, Morgan Harrington, Angel Tash, and Nakia Thompson. Thomas. That's uh, it for the morning announcements, Doug. <laughs> Hope you guys have a wonderful Wednesday.